This pet project is progressing nicely. Don't look at me. Scrubbing ain't in my contract. Now Aggie wants to know what the deal is with these dueling toasters. This one was getting really dirty, so, so we, we just, just it to the boxed side it and, and we bought, bought a new one. one. <laughs> so lazy. Well, I didn't know you could clean a toaster. For that, Michael, you have got the extra dirty one. After the plugs are pulled, they break out the brushes to clear out the crumbs. These look like some squashed up croutons. I'm surprised you haven't got a family of mice in the bottom of that toaster as well. Then a shot of Mr. Clean helps make sure that the grime is toast. Take some of this antibacterial cleaner, give it a good old. It's a race, you've got a bit of a head start, Amy. <laughs> now, the, this antibacterial cleaner will kill the fungus and yeast on the outside of the toaster. It looks like it's working. Is that a revelation? <laughs> it's really cool. God, it's absolutely it's gleaming. Oh, look at that gorgeous face inside of the toaster. While our trio takes their tidy toasters for a test drive... There you are. ...and a spot of tea, the crew keeps on cranking, and the professionals are brought in to purge the flying pests. In the animal's bedroom, that contaminated carpet is coming up, making it a snap to sponge up after accidents. And Amy's making sure dirt is off the wall. Look at this. This magic eraser really works. It looks kind of fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Uh, there's magic. a lot more fun right around the corner if you want to finish it off. What? But Now with just a few hours left, Kim and Aggie and their team go wild. And our couple takes their canine companions outside for a change. Now you've done very well with the cleaning, haven't they, Axie? Yes, you definitely have. So it's off you go now with your yes, dogs. Yes, and your can walk. they pee pee out, dear? And Not poo -poo. in after we've cleaned, dear. Maybe if I had a yard, everyone would get off my back. We'll finish up inside. Come on. What species of slime has Aggie stumbled on? It's revolting, isn't it? And what will a clean habitat do for the breeding program? Can you honestly see romance in this bedroom this evening? Blushing. <laughs> Young couple Michael and Amy had turned their home into a stinking shelter for their four dogs and seven chinchillas. Then Kim and Aggie fetched their cleaning crew to put a leash on the litter. Now our couple comes home to see if their dirty digs have been domesticated. We put 50 gallons of water over your carpets and the 50 gallons came up smelling of stinky poos. Oh, this is... What about, don't, don't you play silly with me, you caused it. Get your, you, you stink. And if you put your hands in, oh, look, oh, it just sticks that. on your fingers, and I'm not kidding you. Oh, that's a stink. Oh. This came out of the filter. No, it didn't. It's revolting, isn't it? Have those pets emptied their bladders on every tree in this area? Yes. The good news is you've got a gorgeous house. Fine. Treats, Come on, then. treats, you've, you've earned your you. treats. Wow, it smells so good in here. This is called clean, my dear. Oh. The front room was foul-smelling, caked in crud, and cluttered with cages. Now it's exemplary, orderly, and odor-free. Whoa. Whoa. Would you bring friends around now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yes. Now we have something to show now off. Now we have something to the, show off. Um, what's missing from the room? The smell. Smell, yes. Yeah, smell. There's smell. a new smell in here, but it's really great. Mm -hmm. And why is it missing from the room? Because it's clean. Yes, and it's not <laughs> going to get smelly again. There were lots of living things in the kitchen, if you count bugs and mold spores. But now our pair will dine in privacy and purity. We have countertops. And no yes. flies. Maybe she'll actually spend the time to learn how to cook. No, not that much time. In the bathroom, the humans were messier than the pets. Till Kim and Aggie put this pair through tidy toilet training. Wow. Whoa. Oh my God, it's so pretty. No yeah. grease, no the grime. floor is white. Well, it always was white, you just didn't clean it. <laughs> The dogs had turned the spare bedroom into a free-range filth farm. Now the carpet's been cleared out, and it's a sweet retreat for all creatures, great, small, and spotless. It's like a mini zoo in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> like a pet shop. Hey, hi, right. Oh, and your yeah, chinchillas are in here now. They are. Thank you. Michael and Amy were sleeping in squalor. Now this room's just right for a little animal attraction. So cool. Wow. <laughs> Can you honestly see romance in this bedroom this evening? Blushing. 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 
always blushing. Do you know he's very naughty, isn't he? <laughs> Tidy up afterwards. The sanitary circle of life is now complete, so the cleaning queens must move on in search of dirtier pastures. And remember, Emma, keep, keep it, it clean. Two weeks have gone by. Are Mike and Amy still the leaders of the pristine pack? We promised to keep it clean, and so far it's going really well. Kim and Aggie's obedience training seems to have paid off. It's actually really good for me because I actually play video games in the living room now. The kitchen's really clean. Maybe a little too clean. What gives? Uh, well, we haven't eaten at home yet. Well, we know they've used the bathroom, and it's still bright. And the pets are thriving in their excellent new environment. Except... Oh, sorry. I just get so nervous on TV. And has a neat love nest helped nature take its course? Yes, Kim, there is great passion in the bedroom. The wildlife wasteland still looks wonderful. Now the duchesses of dirt need to restock their supplies, and they're crazy for that California citrus clean. Do you know, we're out of almost we're at lemons. Yeah, that's now, true. Now, we can't do without them, you no, know this. I know, I know. Uh, ladies? Oh, hi. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, we'd like to buy some lemons, please. Are you those two girls on TV? Yeah, we oh, certainly sure. are. You can have some on me right this way. Steady tiger. Thank you very much. Do you know what? I think that's plenty, actually. We're not going to need any more than that. Oh, Kim, that's greedy. Put a few more. Put a few more. That is naughty. Nobody will notice. Ladies, you doing all right over there? Um, oh, yes, yes, thank you so yes, much. Thank you. thank you so much. Okay, we need the lemons. Take an advantage. Let's go. You sure you're doing all right over there? Come on, this is ridiculous. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind of you. Go on, this is so embarrassing. Nobody knows. Unbelievable. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> now, what's happened to the eyebrows, Kim? And the, and the hair is down. What do you mean? Is this the casual look? Is that what the California Sun did to you? I did. I don't like competition. Get off. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> 